Hello and welcome to Gadget Inspectors. On the show this week we're taking an exclusive first look at the new HTC Magic. It's a second generation phone to run Google's Android operating system and it's exclusive to Vodafone. Let's see if Vodafone can conjure up a handset good enough to compete with the iPhone. Harry, that was rubbish. You need some remedial classes at Hogwarts. <laughs> The sleek styling and good looks of the HTC Magic are certain to cast a spell over most mobile phone users. If you think back to the very first Google phone that we tried out, the T-Mobile G1, it was a really big, clunky handset in comparison with an awkward slide-out keyboard which wasn't even that easy to type on. Yes, this is far more David Blaine than Paul Daniels. It's got a lightness of touch. I'm not a fan of touchscreen keyboards, but this seems to work very, very well. You can use it both horizontally or vertically. And sometimes, if you want, you can have this interpretive selection of letters, kind of predictive texting, but on a grand scale. And crucially, it seems to recognise which letters I want to type. My fat fingers don't seem to get in the way. The HTC Magic is more than a one-trick pony. The really cool thing about this is the operating system, known as Android, which is made by a group of companies including Google. In effect, this turns your mobile phone into a pocket computer and you're able to do a whole host of really clever and interesting things on it. For starters, it's got 3G and Wi-Fi built in, which means you'll be able to get online at high speeds wherever you are. This opens up a whole world of possibilities about what you can do with this device. For instance, you could look at Google Maps and find yourself guided around the city using street food. You could have your email pushed to your device as soon as it drops into your inbox and you can even download and install extra software and applications from the Android marketplace. It's an incredibly powerful little machine. There are some things the Magic Phone does spectacularly well, not least something like a news widget that the Telegraph has installed. The text is crisp and clear and very easy to read. You really want to use the internet on the go with this machine. But where it falls down is video. Now we're led to believe that the video quality on this is so fantastic that David Copperfield will be proud of featuring it in one of his shows. But in fact, the quality is very poor. Not just the recording, but also the playback. If you're watching videos on YouTube, they're not nearly as crisp and clear as they are on the iPhone. Has HTC pulled a rabbit out of the hat with this magic phone? Nearly, but not quite. I'm loving the handset. The buttons down here are really instinctive. Every phone should have a home button and a go back one stage button. I'm liking the price. At £35 a month for an 18 month contract, that's comparable with the iPhone. But it's got two downsides. One, the video is rubbish. And two, the headphone jack is proprietary, which drives me up the wall. I can't just put in my normal headphones and listen to my music. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a good, but not spectacular, 8 out of 10. Yep, the HTC Magic is largely a triumph, actually. It's sleek, it's good looking, it's easy to use, and the Android operating system is an incredibly powerful tool. You can do everything on there from push email to Google Maps, straight out the box, which I think is fantastic. Having said that though, the video side of things is a real letdown. And on modern multimedia smartphones, you need it to be all singing and all dancing in all areas. So while the HTC Magic has plenty of tricks up its sleeve, it just falls short of the mark for me. I'm also going to give it 8 out of 10. Yeah. 